almost like you're holding and shaking a hand, right? What we're going to do is work into this groove of the hand right here, right at the index finger and between the thumb. It's an area that gets missed quite a bit. So the way that I like to work into it is I bend the hand down. I'm pushing, relaxing my push. And as I move through this rotation here, I'm actually getting a little further each time in establishing the contact on that particular muscle. All right. Then I'm going to go between each finger, pulling out at the, the tissue and the, the, the tendons. And it's still that pinching motion, both sides. Okay? Then from there, we're going to do the pin and stretch. Okay? So each finger, I'm going to take right at the, the, the first knuckle, hold up, pin, and stretch down through. You're going to repeat that process with all the knuckles. Okay? The area of the thumb where the pollock is brevis and longest are at gets missed quite a bit as well. So in order to get there, I like to pin that down, pull that thumb across, and I'm maintaining no contact on this carpal tunnel zone right through here. Okay? So it's a pin and a stretch. Pin and a stretch. Okay? Inside of the hand, it doesn't matter how you do this, but the, the key here is to pin this and stretch that knuckle as well. Okay? You're going to do that on all the fingers. Okay? Also on this, if you come across somebody that has any problems with the trigger finger, you can work your way back up through these tendons and what you're going to have them do is go ahead and open your, your hand for me please. <coughs> Spread your fingers. Hey, you're going to work up through these tendons and you're going to have them wiggle your fingers, find the tendon. If you get any adhesions in there, as soon as you release that adhesion, that trigger finger would generally not be a problem anymore. Okay? <laughs>